I'm Patrick Corley. I'm the curator of the Aquatic Conservation Facility at the ABQ Biopark. And today we released 18,000 silvery minnows into the Rio. We are trying to maintain a population of an endangered species. And because we have an endangered species in the river, it affords protections. I think that we all feel like proud parents. We spent the last six months raising these fish. And today we get to see them go out into the real world. And we wish the best for them. They were in pretty much the whole Rio Grande uh, through New Mexico down into Texas. Right now they're in 7% of their range between Cochiti and Elephant Butte. Mm -hmm. uh, they were the most prolific fish in the Rio and now they are uh, always on the precipice of extinction. We lose a lot of fish to uh, the drying of the, the river, we lose to irrigation, we lose them to pollution, uh, changes in the, in the structure of the river. In the spring, they, the, the river would normally swell and flood out, uh, but now it just it's so channelized that it just goes right down the middle and we don't get that big swell of water. So they're not getting their, their cues to spawn um, as readily from, from nature. It still happens, but not to the great amounts that it used to. We tag the fish with visible implant elastomer, VIE. It's, uh, it's like a latex paint that we put a little five millimeter stripe down their back and that allows the biologists that do their sampling in the, in the river to denote the tagged fish is is a hatchery fish. And then that tells them how successful the, the Y population is doing and the needs of the program. We did have a, a pretty successful egg collection this year, but it was also a year that we experienced a lot of drying stretches of the river. So there's that much more need for the hatcheries to, to produce.